Hi, you're just needing a really quick cranial nerve exam. Okay, can I get your first name? Your last name? Your date of birth? And your current address? All right, let's get started. So I'm just gonna be putting on my gloves. And I just have a few cognitive questions for you. Did you have any food today? Okay, and on a scale of one to 10, are you in any pain? Okay, perfect. I'm gonna start off by just checking your vital signs really quick. Starting off with your temperature, open your mouth, say ah, and lift up your tongue. Okay, you're about 98.2, and just give me your finger and check your oxygenation levels. All right, oxygen levels are fine. So I'm gonna have you look at my nose and tell me which fingers are moving. Tell me when you see my fingers entering your vision. Tell me when you see them leaving your vision. I'll have you look at my nose, okay? And tell me when you see the light coming into your vision. Now look at my fingers. Now look at my fingers here. Okay, I would like for you to shrug your shoulders. Don't let me push them down. Okay, tap on your face. Let me know if you feel any pain. I'm going to attempt to move your head to the left. Don't let me. I'm going to attempt to move it to the right. Don't let me. All right, and what is this animal? Snail, good. And can you find the poppet that hasn't been bopped? Exactly. And what shape is this? Can you find the poppet that hasn't been popped? Good job. Okay, now I'm going to have you look through this and tell me what color you see. Very good, and this color. And what color is this? And what color is this? And what color is this? All right, and can you tell me what color this is? Good. What color is this? And what color is this? All right, go ahead and tell me what color I'm popping. And now? And now? Now we're doing a quick smell test. What does that smell like? And what does this smell like? And what about this? Exactly. And then a really quick taste test. If you could just open your mouth. I'm just going to put one of these in your mouth and chew it. And what does that taste like? Exactly. We're going to move on to a hearing test. Can you tell me what this sounds like? Yes, it's a spray bottle. And what does this sound like? Scissors, correct. And this? Water. And one more. Hole puncher, right. I'm going to go ahead and have you close your eyes and tell me if this is sharp or dull. And tell me if this is sharp or dull. Great. Now I'm just going to put a lens over your eyes. Okay, and do you see the snow and chart? What letter is this? What letter is this? What letter is this? What letter is this? And this? And can you read the bottom line for me? What color is this? color is this and can you point to the biggest circle and then the smallest all right I'm just gonna have you close your eyes and let me know if you see a flashing light or if you see a solid light Nothing appears to be wrong with you. You are good to go. Hello, welcome to your eye examination. How are you today? What brings you in? Oh, you have a few floaters, you think? Yeah, we can definitely check out your eyes. We can do a few x-rays if you'd like, uh, just to make sure that your optic nerve isn't detaching from your retina. Um, sometimes it can start to flake off a little bit and that's what causes floaters, but I'll be honest with you, a lot of people have them and it really isn't a big deal. 
it's mostly just uncomfortable for people. And then of course we have to watch out for diabetes. If you have that in your eye, um, you're at risk for you know losing your sight. So we'll definitely go ahead and check your blood sugar as well, just so that we can sort of see where you're at. How does that sound? Yeah. Okay, so can I just confirm your first and last name? Okay, and what is your date of birth? And what is your current address? Are you wearing glasses or contacts right now? And when was your last eye exam? Very good, so you've got a routine checkup today as well. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on and let's get started. checking your vitals, which is listening to your heart and your lungs. So if you could just breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, hold, and breathe out, breathe in, hold, and breathe out. Very good. Your heart and lungs sound good. And then I'm just going to check your oxygenation levels. I just need your finger. Oxygenation looks to be of normal levels, and then just your temperature. So lift up your tongue, open your mouth. Okay, you don't have a fever or any signs of a fever, which is really good news. What I'm going to do is just have a really quick look in your eyes. So if you could just, if you could just move your eye to the right. If you could just move your eye to the right, could you just kind of look in the corner? Yeah, just go into it. Any pain or discomfort there? Mm hmm And how about here? Okay, could you um, look down? I'm just gonna look. Just gonna lift up the eyelid here. I'm just gonna lift up the eyelid. I'm just gonna lift up the eyelid. Uh, okay, on the other side as well. I'm just going to lift up the eyelid, okay? And if you could look up for me, I'm just going I'm just doing this to you, okay? So just relax as I do that. Just relax as I do that. Just having a quick look. Okay, and then I'm going to have a quick look at this eye here. Just pulling down. Just pulling down. Okay, keep looking up if you can. I'm just going to, okay. No palpy at the bottom, not any popped blood vessels or anything mm -hmm. okay and do you see the light okay very good so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna come quite close and take a look at the optic nerve then mm -hmm. so just relax as I do that all right just so I'm just taking a look at the optic nerve it does seem to be intact and healthy it is attached to your retina Okay, I do see just a few little flakes there. Um, that could definitely be causing these floaters, which we can't really do too much about, but we can definitely try, especially with diet and such. So I'm just going to take a look at this eye here. I'm just having a look at this eye, and it looks to be just about the same as the other one. Okay. And if you could, just look this way, okay? I'm just gonna double check here, mm-hmm. Okay, yes, it looks quite, um, quite the same. It, it does appear to be, um, it does, there does appear to be a few flakes on this side as well. And that's the floaters that you see. Uh, it doesn't seem to be too much. So actually, I don't think it has anything to do with diabetes in the eye. Uh, your eyes look great. So we don't even need to check your blood sugar, but we're going to do quite an extensive eye examination to see if the floaters are playing a huge role in your vision. 
What I'm going to do to test your eyes today is put a lens over them. Now, you should not be able to see out of your left eye, but you should be able to see out of your right eye. So with the right eye, I am going to do a couple of tests. Number one, I want to do a color vision test. So go ahead and tell me what color this is. Very good. And this. Very good. And this. Okay, you got all those colors correct. Now we're going to do the other eye. Okay. Go ahead and tell me what colors you see here. So let me just grab my markers here. Okay, what colors do you see? Okay, and how about now? And how about now? And now. Okay. And then I want to check both of the eyes. So you should be seeing out of both of your eyes now. And tell me what color you see with both eyes. That's correct. That's correct. Correct again. And again. Yes. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to remove this. And I want to do a color vision test just like we were doing without the lens, which should be a little easier. Okay, um, that was the harder part. Let's see if you can see closer up. Okay, so this is a close up visual. Yes, okay. Perfect. Very good. Good. Very good. That's correct. Just a couple more. Very good. Very good. Okay, you did a really, really good job there. We're going to do a similar test again, this time with colored sheets. And so what I'm going to have you do is just tell me what color they are without the lens number two. So this will be with the current lens number one. And just go ahead and repeat the colors to me. Perfect. Very good. Good. Very good. Okay. Good. Okay. Now I'm going to add the lens, which is going to cover the left eye. Mm -hmm. And let me know what color you see. Okay. You should just be able to see from your right eye. Good. And some of these are double, so I'm not trying to trick you. You're getting all of them right, so let me cover the other eye. All right, and go ahead and tell the colors you see. Okay, I'm going to remove the lens. All right, you did a really good job. Once again, you got all of the colors right. What I'm going to do now is I am going to ask you if I am closer or further away using lens number two. Okay, so this is lens number two. Am I closer or further away? How about now? 
How about now? How about now? And what about now? And how about now? How about now? And now? What I'm going to do now is cover one of your eyes. Okay, and tell me what color you see. Very good. And what color do you see? And how about now? now and now okay very good I'm just gonna cover the other eye and tell me what color you see very good good perfect very good good great so now I'm gonna have you follow the light, okay? So just follow the light. Very good. And as you are following the light, I am going to bring in a flashing light. So just ignore the flashing light. Okay, and now look at the flashing light and ignore the solid light. And now I'm going to have you close your eyes and tell me if you see solid or if you see flashing. Now I'm going to bring two flashing lights into your vision. Did you see those? Okay. Now I'm going to have you follow the green light. Ignore the orange one, follow the green, ignore the orange. Okay, now follow the one that's blinking. Okay, and the other one that's blinking. Okay, now look at the green one. Now look at the orange one. And then I am going to put a lamp over your eyes, okay? And how many fingers am I holding up? How about now? How about now? And now? Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to put a lens over your eyes. How many fingers am I holding up? Now, 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 and now. And what about now? Okay, so I'm just going to be doing lens one or two. So, this is going to be lens number one, okay, and this is going to be lens number two, okay, so I want you to tell me if you see lens one or lens two, okay, how about now, and what about now, now, I want you to tell me if you can tell a difference between this lens and this lens. Are they different? This one or this one? Okay. This will be one. This will be two. Tell me which one you see. Let me know which one you see. Okay, so I'm going to be using lens number two, and I want you to tell me what color you see coming into your vision. Okay, so go ahead and tell me what color this is. Very good. And what color is this? Very good. And what color is this? Okay, and what color is this? Very good, and tell me what color is this? Perfect. I'll be using a lens one more time. So I'm just gonna put that over your eyes. 
Okay, we've got a little bit of blurriness again. Can't tell me what fruit this is. Okay, what fruit is this? And this. And this. And what dessert is this? Okay. And what is this? Very good. Would you eat this for breakfast? Okay. Would you eat this for breakfast? Okay, very good. So we're not going to use a lens for this. It's just normal camera. Can you tell me what color this smiley face is? Good. What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? And what color is this? And this one here. And what about this one here? And this one here. And what about this one here? Can you count how many pink smiley faces there are? I'll show you an easy way to count. Just go horizontal. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, twenty. That was easy, wasn't it? Okay, can you count the green ones? Okay, and then can you count the blue ones? And can you count the yellow ones? I'm also going to do this now on chart without the lens. Do you see the chart here? Okay, what letter is this? What letter is this? And this here. What letter is this? What letter is this? And this letter here. Can you read the second bottom line for me? Okay, and this line here. And then this line here. And this line here. Okay, and what color is this? And what color is this? And is this a circle, does it appear to be the middle one? And is this the smallest one? And is this the biggest one? Okay, very good. Now I have a couple of different balls. One is going to be a basketball, one is going to be a soccer ball. I'm just going to have you follow the, so the soccer ball with your eyes. Just follow the soccer ball with your eyes. Okay, very good. Okay, I'm going to speed it up now. Just following it with your eyes. Okay, now follow the basketball with your eyes. Just follow the basketball with your eyes. Okay, very good. Okay, now tell me which ball is closer to you. Which ball is closer? And how about now? And now, and now, how about now, how about now, tell me which ball you see coming into your vision first. Tell me when you, and tell me which ball you see leaving your vision last. Two ducks here, okay. So I'm just gonna have you follow the yellow one and ignore the pink one. Just ignore the pink one and follow the yellow one. Okay, go ahead and look at the pink one and ignore the yellow. Alright, tell me which one leaves your vision first. Tell me which one you see in your vision first. Okay, tell me which one's closer to you. Okay, now I'm going to have you look at the pink one. Now look at my nose. Now look at the yellow one. Which one's closer to you and which one's further away? 
Okay, tell me when you see them both entering the vision. All right, so now I want you to tell me what color this is. What color is this? And what color is this? Okay, we'll do that again. What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? Okay, we're going to do that one more time. And what color is this? What color is this? What color is this? Very good. I'm just going to put this over your eyes here. Okay. And tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. How about now? And now? Okay. I'm going to do that on the other side. How many fingers am I holding up? And now? How about now? And now? How about now? And now? Okay. Now I want you to tell me when you see the light coming into your vision. Okay, very good. And when do you see the light coming into your vision? When do you see the light leaving your vision? Good. Okay, so we're just going to stay right there with this. And I'm going to tap on a few different colors. What color is this? What color is this? Color is this? And what about this? What color is this? What color is this? What color is this? And what about this? What color is this? Alright, so now I've got a cube here. It has different numbers. For example, this is three, and this is one, and this is five. I want you to add up the numbers you see here plus my fingers. This would be five, this would be six, this would be nine. Okay? Go ahead and get started. Okay, very good. And let's just keep going. Okay, so now I am going to have you look at a few numbers for me. Okay, so look at the number 31. Look at the number. And look at the number 46. And look at the number 33. Look at the number 25. And look at the number 17. And look at the number 8. Look at the number 15. Look at the number 33, and look at the number 40, and look at the number 46, and look at the number 54, look at the number 39, and look at the number 24, look at the number 12, and look at the number 2, look at the number 4, look at the number 11, look at the number 24, the number 45, the number 53, Okay, now I'm going to use a different measuring tape here. Now I'm going to use a different measuring tape. And now I'm going to look at a different measuring tape. Look at the number 7. Look at the number 12. Look at the number 5. Look at the number 25. Look at the number 17. Look at the number 7. Look at the number 10. Look at the number 5. Look at the number 21. The number 22. Look at the number 34. Look at the number 5. Look at the number 7. Look at the number 3. Look at number 17. Look at number 10. Look at number 6. Look at number 5. Look at number 7. Look at number 3. Look at number 4. Look at number 5. Number three, number six, number eight, the number nine, the number three, the number ten, the number sixteen, the number twenty-six, and the number eight. Now I want you to tell me what color. Okay, 
and now I'll have you tell me what number I'm painting. Good, 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 good. Mm -hmm. good. Very good. Tell me if the paintbrush is coming closer to you or moving further away. Which point is closer? One, two, or three? 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 One, two, three? One, two, or three? Two, And what color is this? 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 Now I'm going to put this sheet of paper over your eye and just follow the light. Follow the light. Good job. Keep going. Very good. Close your eyes and try to follow the light with your eyes closed. Try to follow the light with your eyes closed. Very good. Okay, now open your eyes and keep following the light. Very good. And now I have a different color sheet of paper. Just follow this with your eyes. Okay, and then close your eyes and see if you can still follow the light. Tell me when you see the light coming into your vision. Tell me when you see it leaving your vision. Tell me when you see it coming into your vision again. Tell me when you see it leaving your vision. Very good. Just a few more Sharpie color tests. What color is this? And this. Very good. And this. And this. And this. This. And this. And this. All right. Well, you've certainly passed your eye examination. I don't think that you should be having any problems furthermore. The floaters will eventually go away. Welcome to your two minute cranial nerve exam. We're gonna test your eyesight first, okay? So when I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna have you tell me how many fingers I'm holding up. How about now? How about now? How about now? Very good, we're gonna do that one more time. How many fingers am I holding up? How about now? Now, now, and now. So now I'm gonna do a really quick smell test. Go ahead and tell me what does this smell like? Good, that's exactly right. Sweet tart, and what does this smell like? Okay, yep, and there's a laffy toffy, exactly. Can you feel this on your face? Can you feel this on your face? Shrug your shoulders, don't let me push them down. Don't let me move your head, don't let me move your head. And raise your eyebrows, I'm gonna try to push them down. Don't let me, good, look over here, look over here, look over here, and follow my finger, very good. Now ignore the light that comes into your vision, keep following my finger. Just ignore the light that comes into your vision, perfect. Okay, now look at the light and ignore the finger, good. How many fingers can I hold How about now, how about now, and how about now? Now I'm gonna give you a really quick injection, just relax for me, look up, look down, look to the right, look down, look up, look down, look at my nose, good, follow the light for me if you can. Perfect, I'll check your peripherals really quick, tell me when you see the light coming into your vision, very good, check your peripherals, when do you see the light coming into your vision, perfect. Check your color vision test, what color is this? Very good, what color is this? And what color is this? Can you see the snail? Good. Tell me which poppet has not been popped yet, very quickly. Good job. And if you could tell me one more time which poppet has not been popped yet. Amazing. Now I'm gonna have you tell me if this is sharp or dull, sharp or dull, dull or sharp, sharp or dull. Just a quick hearing test. Somebody whisper something to your ear. Just let me know what it is. Pink elephant, pink snail, purple gorilla, pineapple, giraffe. Great job. Now guess the sound. Good job. Guess the sound. Now can you feel this on your face? Okay. Where do you feel it? Where do you feel it? Where do you feel it? How about now? How about now? How about now? 
good. Now I'm going to have you tell me what ball this is. Very good. What animal is this? And what food is this? Perfect. Now I have a measuring tape. Look at the number seven. Look at the number two. Look at the number nine. Look at the number 11. Look at the number two. Look at the number one. Look at the number six. Number two. Number one. Number two. Number three. Welcome to your lice appointment. Tell me a little bit about where you've been recently. Have you been um, near anybody who might have lice? You're not sure? Okay, just let me take a look at your head. You've got quite thick hair it looks like so it'll take a little minute to get through all of it and how long have you been itching for a couple days okay and have you actually found the little critters one jumped on your shoulder oh okay well i have a little vial here so if you jump off while we're talking just let me know and i'll grab it okay all right and then just a few more questions are you in any pain right now Okay, how often do you wash your hair? When was the last time you washed your hair? Okay, would you say your hair is about 15 inches long? I would say the same. And have you ever had lice before? Okay, and on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is the itch? 10? Oh my. Let's go ahead and get started right now and get you feeling better, okay? Let me go ahead and start off with making sure there's no little critters um, ready to fall off of your, ooh, looks like there's one. So let me just go ahead and stick that in here, okay? And let me just see if there's another one. Ooh, there's another one. Let me just put that in the vial. Ooh, don't jump out now. We will let these out into the wild when we're done, okay? All right, so let me just brush your hair, okay? So I just want to see what we're working with here. Do you just want to see how thick your hair is? Ooh, it's quite thick. Mmm, got a little bit of a tangle there. Okay, and just checking the scalp and then just making sure um, that I know exactly what I'm working with. Okay. Mm hmm looks like it'll definitely take about a couple of minutes for sure, but don't worry, it's not going to be too bad. I do want to start off with my uh, lice removing um, gel here. This is going to make sure that, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to hurt them. We're not going to hurt them, but we're just going to put them to sleep. Okay, so we're just going to put them to sleep so that they don't jump anywhere. And it'll be easy for us to take and remove and put them in the vial. And then guess what? Bye-bye, outdoors. Have a happy life outside. Okay, all right, looks like we're done. I just need to remove my gloves because now they're full of this lotion. Okay, and let me just change my gloves really quick and I'll be right back. Okay, we've got new gloves. Let me do a little um, assessment here. So I'm just going to run through the hair a little bit just to see if there's a few that pop onto my slice comb. Okay, yes, there's a few. Let me just discard these and put them in the vial. Okay, very good, okay. And just hold still, relax. This is a painless process it's very painless just takes a few strokes a few strides maybe we should separate the hair actually since your hair is so thick yeah let's go ahead and do that so i'm just going to part the hair and make sure that okay there we go oh that will work a lot better mm -hmm. okay and let me just itch your scalp for you since you were saying you're itchy does that feel good very good yeah that should relieve your pain a little bit mm-hmm Okay, well it looks like we're done with that side now. There wasn't too many really, there was only a couple. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take this out and do the other side here. Okay, and once again, just relax, painless process. We're just trying to make sure that, you know, we get every little one of these little buggers. Okay, so. Um, okay, there's quite a few there. So let me just remove these and put them in the vial. Okay, oh, oh there we go. <laughs> All right, and then I think I should focus more on the front of your scalp. So let's just go ahead and do that. And make sure that we focus on the front there. Okay, and I feel like the scalp is looking so much better. Mm -hmm. But let me double check with my light, okay? And I'm also going to use my little puffer um, just to see if there's a few that, that sort of puff up into the air. Okay, let me just go behind here and just double check. Okay, and just checking over here. Hmm, okay, no, no, I think we're clear. I think we're in the clear for sure. So what I'm going to do is I do want to just make your hair um, just moist so that there is no reason at all for you to feel any type of itch. This is like an anti-itch moist spray. So I'm just going to make sure that I put it all over your scalp just to make sure that the anti-itch spray works really, really well. I mean, this stuff is magical. It's the most amazing stuff ever, and I use it on everybody that comes in, and they always say they feel so 
soothed and relaxed, especially the people who have like the major issues. So, and I think that you said it was like a 10 for you, right? Okay. Okay, well, um, can you just turn it around for me? I'm just gonna do the back of your head. Mm-hmm. Just gonna do the back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, and then I did just wanna make sure that you didn't have any on the crevice of your neck. So while you're turned around, I'm just going to make sure that I get the crevice of your neck here. And then behind your ears, I'm just gonna make sure I get behind the ears so that I know we are 100% clear of the critters. All right, and thank you so much for coming today. I promise you I'll bring these into the nature, into the wild so they can live happily ever after. Okay, and have an itch-free rest of your day. Hello, welcome to your haircut appointment. So tell me um, how many inches you would like cut off. So would you like at least three or would you like five? And do you want any layers? Um, let me know, did you want any layers? And then did you want any bangs? Did you want a bang at all? So if we did a bang, we could go just like this, or we could go like this, or we could do just a straight across, which would look more like this, or did you want to go ahead and do a, um, just a curtain bang? Because we could definitely do a curtain bang, I think it would look actually really good on your face. Okay, yeah, let me just go ahead and measure. Let me just go ahead and measure just to make sure that um, I have the exact measurements that you were looking for. Yep, and let me just double check here. Okay, yeah, definitely. Let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and brush your hair to see what we're dealing with here as far as thickness goes. Do you have thick hair or do you have like more so thinner hair? I do see that you do have quite um, thick hair. Sorry about the traffic there. It's just very busy in the city here. Yes, okay, and um, I do see that you do have quite thick hair. So I think what I need to do is actually just brush part of it to the side and then clip it up. So let me just brush it to the side. I'm just gonna brush it to the side here and I'm just gonna hold it and then I'm just gonna clip it. Okay, perfect. All right, and then I'm gonna just double check to see if it's straight. Okay, I'm gonna start off with the bottom, okay? So I wanna make sure that I get the bottom straight, okay? And do you like more of a shaggy look or do you want more of a just controlled, relaxed look with a little bit of bang. Okay, okay, yeah, no, we can definitely do that. We can keep it long for sure. I'm just gonna clip, um, unclip some of your hair, just let part of it down. Okay, and I'm just gonna brush it, okay, so that I can make sure that I get all of your hair the same length, of course, okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Just gonna get your hair the same length. Okay, and then I'm just gonna take the clip out and remove the rest of the hair, let it fall down, let it fall down, it just fell down. Okay, and just brush it, brush it, brush, it. okay. And last but not least, just finishing that other amount of hair here. Just going to make sure that it's straight, okay, and then let me brush that out for you, okay? Just gonna brush it, brush it, brush it. All right, so we're gonna move on to just making the hair super, super wet so I can work with it when it comes to like the layers and stuff, right? So just relax, I'm just gonna be spraying. Okay, very good. Then I'm just gonna spray some anti-frizz as well. This will keep you from frizzing at all. This will just keep the frizz away, which is perfect. Okay, and then let me just double check to take a look. All right, everything looks good. So what I wanna do is I definitely wanna do the layers that you were talking about. So I do just need to comb the layers out. So I'm gonna start with this side here. So I'm just gonna comb the layer. Perfect, I'm holding it in my hand. And I'm just gonna go snip, 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 snip. Perfect. I'm just gonna grab another layer here. I'm just holding it in my hand. And snip, 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 snip. Okay, then to get just a little bit of a finer, um, just a bit of a finer edge, I'm gonna do just a little, just using my little scissor here. Yes, just holding it here using my little, little scissor. Mm-hmm, okay. All right, everything is looking really good so far. What do you think of the layer? Do you like it? Okay, let me, let me do the other side, okay? So let me just grab a little piece with my hand, perfect. And we'll just be working with that here. Mm-hmm, just be working with that. And then also using my bigger scissor. Mm -hmm. Just using the bigger scissor here, just holding it and chop, 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 snip, 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 Okay, mm -hmm. okay, let me take a look at that side. Let me just brush that out one more time here. Okay, mm -hmm. great, great. Okay, I'm just using my um, my own perception here to make sure that 
we have um, evenness on both sides. Yes, yes. So I'm just checking the evenness. Just checking the evenness. Okay, let me measure that just to make sure. Okay, so I'm just going to measure. Okay, just going to measure. Just going to measure that just to make sure. Okay, it looks like we're good. Um, so now let's focus on the fringe. How does that sound? Yes. Okay, so what are you thinking? Like, sort of like that. Okay. Sounds good. Let me just brush it out. I'm just going to brush your hair in front of your face, okay? So just allow me to do that. Just allow me to brush the hair in front of your face. Okay, okay, okay. Now, I'm going to take a look here, okay? So we're just going to go straight across. We're just going to go straight across here, straight across, straight across. Good. Then I'm going to pull this side, okay? And then I'm just going to give it a little bit of a indentation. And then we're just going to pull this side and a little bit of an indentation just little bit of an indentation perfect okay and then I'm just gonna pull it I'm just gonna pull it front of you mm -hmm. very good let's thin them out a little bit how about that so I'm just gonna go ahead and thin them out just a little bit so I'm just gonna thin them out on each side just gonna thin them okay and then the other side I'm just gonna thin them you know you want your bangs to be just like a little bit on the thinner end not so super thick and that should look exactly like you want it. Okay, very, very good. So this is your mirror. Okay, do you see yourself? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you like it? Do you love it? Okay, perfect. Awesome. All right, I hope you love it. Pick up the next person in line. Stop. You've been selected for a TSA pat down and bag check. Can I please see your um, ID? Oh, your passport? Okay, perfect. Have you ever been banned from a country before? All right, you said you do have a visa to enter the United States, which is good. It's about uh, two days only though. How long do you plan to stay? You don't plan to stay here forever, do you? Oh yeah, because you could be deported if you do, all right? So let me just double check and make sure that your passport is legal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make sure that um, it matches up, your face matches up with the passport, okay? So just look at me, good, 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 good. What's your name? Okay, do you like birth? Perfect, and country of origin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Okay, so step up for me. I'm just going to take a really quick look at your hair. I just want to make sure that there's nothing there that, you know, could stick out. Uh, okay, step forward. I am going to take just a really quick look at your hair. So just relax for me as I comb it out. Okay, so I'll just be using my comb. Just combing out your hair. Okay, good. All right, and just a few puffs of air. Okay, and then I'm going to check your ears. Okay, I'm just going to check the ears. Okay, so if there's anything in the ears, which is good, 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 good. Let me check this ear here. So I'm just going to check this ear. Mm -hmm. I'm just checking the ear. Pulling the ear forward. Mm -hmm. Okay, now I'm just going to be rummaging through your hair on your scalp. I'm just patting the back of your head. Mm -hmm. Okay, now patting your shoulders and also your chest area right here. Okay, and the arms. Can you lift up your arms for me? And so, what is the purpose of travel? Okay, just seeing uh, a friend for a birthday. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, and let me just have this on here. Good, 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 good. Okay, and just making sure there's nothing on your fingers. Can you just give me your hands, please? I'm just taking palm of my hands. Okay, make sure there's nothing on your hands. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Now I'm gonna move it to your torso, okay? And are you able to take your jacket off? Perfect, thank you for the jacket. And I'm just gonna take your torso here. All right, just let me know if you feel anything. Just let me know if you feel anything, okay? Any pain or discomfort? Okay, so I found a glue stick, okay? What is the glue stick doing? Just tell me what the glue stick is doing in your pocket. Okay, so you don't need it? Smells interesting, like mango. Yeah, it's awesome. Could use it as a Christmas gift. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I need you to widen your hips and check your legs. Okay, stand still. Okay, have your arms out. Okay, good. Let's just check in your ears here. Okay, nothing there. Okay, let me check this side. Alright, now I do need to just double check your shoe, okay? Just give me your shoe, please. Well, isn't this a nice shoe? It looks like you've never worn it before. Yes, 
looks brand spanking new. Yeah. Well, it is definitely a nice shoe. I would say Adidas is like one of my favorite brands. Can I have this? Um, are we the same size? We are. We are. I'm just going to take this shoe. I'm going to have to confiscate it. Yeah, it has to go through our scanner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there's no specific reason. I think it's maybe the three lines on each side. They're a little suspicious. Yeah, they're a little suspicious. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, smells clean as a whistle. Thank you. Now, you might be barefoot, but don't worry about it. It's okay to be barefoot on the plane. All right. So, now I have to take a really quick hair sample. Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a hair sample from right here. And very good. Good. Okay, looks like we got enough hair samples here. And I also need to do a really quick fingerprint scan. Okay, so what I need you to do is I need you to put your fingers right up here. Just put your fingers here. We're gonna go one finger at a time. Thumb. Index, middle, second last, pinky. Very good. Let's do the same thing here. Put your fingers here. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. All right. So your cognitive function seems to be really good. You're very well behaved. But I do want to make sure that you aren't intoxicated for whatever reason. Okay. So just look at my finger. Okay. Don't move your head. Don't move your head. Okay. Now I need you to follow my finger. Don't move your head. I said don't move your head. Good, good. Okay. And just look at my finger and don't move your head. Perfect. Now follow the light. Follow the light. Don't move your head. Don't move your head. Okay. Perfect. Follow the light. Keep following the light. Don't move your head. I cannot have you be moving your head. Okay. Very good. I'm going to close one eye and I want you to tell me when you see the light coming into your vision. Do you see the light coming into your vision? How about now? Mm-hmm. 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 Same thing on the other side. Let me know. Do you see the light coming into your vision? Do you see the light coming into your vision? Okay, it looks like you're not intoxicated at all, not worried at all, so I will give you um, your passport back. There you go. Have a safe flight. Hi, you're here for a tattoo appointment, right? Okay, no worries. Yeah, let's do a quick consultation. So what are you looking for? Something big, something shaded, something colored, or just something small? Okay, so you're not sure you sort of want to do something off the bandwagon, something you've never done before. Okay, well, have you ever had a tattoo? Do you have any tattoos? Okay, I don't see any on you, so this would be your first one. Okay, and where did you want that? Oh, on your face. Well, you know what? Bold is the new beautiful, so let's go ahead and get started. So I've got a few different ones I can show you. Now, I know you might think some of them are not going to be it, but that's okay. Some of them might be of interest to you. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with the first one. You get a rainbow. Now, rainbows are incredible. There's lots of color. There's so much that you can do with a rainbow. And of course, right, if you have it right on your cheek, it could be something that, you know, people could look at and say, oh, wow, love, look at the rainbow. Oh, it's beautiful. Or you could do something like a key, okay? Keys are, you know, they're they're gener they're generic, but keys they have meaning. They have lots of meaning. You can have a story behind it, um, depending on you know what the story is. You might want to share it with people. You might not. You not. You don't have to do anything you don't want to do. Okay. Now money. Money is a good one. You know money. You know people could um, they could walk up to you. Could say, oh hey look, I got money tattooed on my face. Can you give me some? Do you have a dollar on you? They might give you a dollar. They might give you a dollar. You know, and if it's a, you know if there's a lot of people who want to give you a dollar, you might become a millionaire. So that's a good option. You want to do, you, you want to put, me to put this away? Okay. I will put this away as an option. Good, good. Okay, and then we have just a regular pentagon, okay? Now, pentagons are rare, right? Especially the color orange. I mean, where are you going to find that? Not very often, not easily. Um, it's, 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 it's a topic for discussion, right? Somebody might come up to you and be like, why do you have the pentagon? But you might be like, okay, well, the pentagon represents yada yada. You know what I'm saying? So, no, you don't want to do that. I don't blame you. Cylinder, I mean, it's red. Do you even like the color red? I don't either. Um, I think the circle is the better way to go. I mean, circles are pretty. Just look how circular it is. Look how yellow it is. It reminds me of the sun, honestly. Yeah, it reminds me of the sun. Yes. Um, you could change your name to Sunny, and there you go. Boom. You would have, you know, the most amazing storyline. Um, this is pink. I love pink, honestly. Like, it's an octagon, right? So, as far as octagons go, there's not too much. It looks more like a stop sign. Like, if it was red, people would probably stop when they see you. They'd be like, oh, it's a stop sign. Let me stop, right? Um, what do you think of a cup? I mean, usually I drink coffee out of cups or water. Um, usually coffee, though. Um, do you like coffee? No? No. Oh, oh. I can definitely put that to the side. 
for sure. Uh, what we could do though with um, with the black hat, I was thinking, I was just thinking, um, we could actually tattoo a hat on your head. Um, then you would never have to wear hats again for the rest of your life. Right, you would just have a hat tattooed on your head. Yeah, wouldn't be on your cheek though, so it's not exactly you know what you had requested. Mm -hmm. Or we could go ahead and do a tree. I mean, trees are very, very popular. They are green, so every day, all day long, you can just think of the color green. Green is happy. Green means go, right? So, you know, if you're a stoplight and you know this, the light's not turning green, you just like pop your head out the car and oh look, it's green. It's green. It's time we can go. We can drive. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. Oh yeah. You want me to put that to the side? You know, you're choosing lots of green today. I'm very proud of you. My gr my eyes are green. Is that why? No, no, that can't be it. I'm blushing. <laughs> okay, now rockets. What do you think of rockets? Do you um do you think you'll ever go to the moon? Have you ever been there? Do you think that, that people actually go there? There's conspiracy that you know no one's ever been to the moon. What do you think about that? I know, right? Obviously, Elon Musk is legitimate. Of course. Are you kidding? Like, duh. So um, we have another two items here. Uh, this one and this one both reminds me of like the ocean and the sea. So you could either have a fish or you could have an anchor. Um, the anchor, I think it has more meaning. Then again, Finding Nemo is a good movie. So I mean, which one would you rather have, right? Blue, orange, I don't know what the color orange. It's, you know, it's not green. So we're just gonna skip that. I'm actually gonna make that decision for you. <laughs> mm -hmm, yeah, no, I've got a few other ones here. I've got a green diamond. Um, but in particular, I think you're gonna like this one. Um, I like the tree better, but the diamond, you know, makes me happy. I think it's pretty. I think it's, you know, you can do so much with it, right? Like, look at how much you can do with it, right? So, like, there's so many options, like I told you. I know some of them are a little odd, but most of them are awesome, like, honestly. And really, like, if you wanted to do an actual sun, you could do the sun. The sun is a great opportunity for you to tell people that the sun makes us happy and that they should have more sun. You know, like vitamin D. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So which one have you decided? Have you like thought about it? Have you decided? Um, you know, and really like if you wanted to be super um, like emotional about it, you could do a heart, right? Hearts are... You know, hearts mean a lot to, you know, people. And we all have a heart, right? So another conversation started, why do you have a heart? Well, you could be like, well, we all have a heart. It's like, why are you questioning me? You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, there's a lot of options. And really, like, I think that, honestly, like, I really like the storyline with the money. Yeah. This, um, you know, you just, just, like, free money, like, on the street. Like, just, like, you could be rich, right? So did you want to do this? Yeah? Okay. All right, well, I have to start with sketching it, okay? So let me, uh, let me just, <laughs> can you just hold still for me? I'm just going to sketch this on your face, okay? It has Humpty Dumpty on it. I mean, what more could you ask for? <laughs> yeah, and it has four dollar signs, so, you know, yeah, if that makes any sense, right? So, let me just draw Humpty Dumpty because he's smiling and super happy, you know? So, happiness is where it is at. Mm -hmm. Dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. Okay, you want to do the outer skirts of it? Okay, and did you want lots of shading? Oh, you want a color. You want a color? Right, right, right. Right, I have to double check to make sure I have green. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I do. Mm -hmm. Can you just hold still for me? I'm just trying to figure out where. So, there? Mm -hmm. Okay, what about there? There? Okay. Well, I think that's a great idea. I mean, perfection is where it is at, and you are just perfect to me, honestly. You're amazing. You're so cool. Yeah, I, I, I love your bravery with this. You know, your creativity, your, your courageousness. I just love it. Okay, I think I am done sketching. I think I'm done, yeah. But I do have to just double check to make sure I have green. Um, hold on one second. Oh, good, 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 good. I have two shades, okay. So we have darker and then we have lighter. We have darker and lighter and lighter and then darker. And then, you know, which one? Darker, light, darker, light, lighter, dark, darker. Uh, I think we're gonna go with this one. I think this one is what we need to do. Okay, so let's go ahead and start. Okay, okay, there we go. All right, and okay, 
So I'm thinking we'll do the outer skirt, the lighter green, and then we'll actually use the darker green for the outs, uh, for the ins for the insides, for the insides. So we're just gonna do. Okay, just hold it still. Ooh, that's looking fire. <gasps> You know what? I was just thinking we should have done fire, like actual flames. Wouldn't that have been cool? We can do that for the other side, though. Okay, okay. Hold still, hold still. Okay. Wow. Okay. Not to flatter myself, but it looks fantastic. <laughs> yes. Um, oh, actually, I forgot to clean it. So sorry about that. Let me just make sure that the area, at least around, is cleaned and disinfected. Oh, and I forgot to numb it as well. So let's just numb it now so that it doesn't hurt after. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel any pain afterwards. Okay. And then I'm just going to stick um, some plastic on, okay, with my glue stick, okay? So, yes, just hold still while I stick the plastic on, okay? So that stays. Okay, wow. It is so pretty. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's great. Okay, well, you know where I'll be if you want the diamond next time. Okay, all right. See ya.